welcome to the second video tutorial for me and you. I released this song on a record called Genres in 2013. Check it out on iTunes. The verse is broken up into two different parts. Both parts using the same chords, the only difference is they are slightly in a different order. Our first chord, our G chord, starts with the low G note on the low E string using your middle finger. Plucking with your thumb or your thumb pick. Now pluck the open G string, the third string, with your index finger from your picking hand. Then pluck the open B string, the second string, with your middle finger on your picking hand. Switching to a new chord now, the D slash F sharp, we'll be plucking two notes at once. Let's start with our first finger of our fretting hand and place it on the low F sharp, which is the second fret of the low E string. Also place your middle finger on your fretting hand on the A note on the second fret, which is the G string. Now pluck both the F sharp with your thumb on your picking hand and the A note using your first finger on your picking hand at the same time. Now place your third finger of your fretting hand on the third fret of the B string. Now pluck with your middle finger on your picking hand. The last note for this chord is an open G note played with your first finger from your picking hand. Our next chord is the E minor. Place your middle finger on your fretting hand on the E note, which is the second fret on the D string. Now pluck the open E string with your thumb on your picking hand. Then pluck the E note, which is from the D string, with your first finger on your plucking hand. Using your middle finger on your plucking hand, hit the open G string. For the last note of the chord, pluck the E note again with your first finger on your plucking hand. Our fourth chord is the D chord, played a little bit differently. We also will be plucking two notes at once again. Put your fourth finger, your pinky finger, on your fretting hand on the D note on the A string, which is the fifth fret. Now put your third finger on your fretting hand on the F sharp note, which is the fourth fret on the D string. Now pluck both the D and the F sharp notes at the same time, using your thumb on the D note and using your first finger on the F sharp. For the next note, you pluck the open G with your middle finger on your picking hand. The last note requires us to move our third finger on our fretting hand to reach a note. So now place your first finger of your fretting hand on the E note, which is the second fret on the D string. Now pluck the D string with your first finger on your picking hand. Now to our next chord, which is our G chord again. Place your middle finger on the G note, which is the third fret on the low E string. Start plucking by hitting the G note, which is on the sixth string, with our thumb on our picking hand followed by an open D note with your first finger on your picking hand. Now pluck the open G note on the third string with your middle finger on your picking hand. For the last pluck, we return to the open D string with our first finger on our plucking hand. Now ending our first half of the verse on the D chord. This one's a little more challenging because of the pull-offs and the hammer-ons. It's important to hold as much of the chord as possible to let the notes ring out together. Now place your first finger of your fretting hand on the A note, which is the second fret on the G string. Now place your middle finger of your fretting hand on the D note, which is the third fret of the B string. Now put your pinky of your fretting hand on the G note, which is the third fret of the high E string. The only finger that doesn't move in this whole chord is the D note, which is going to be your third finger. Now the more difficult part. Start by plucking the D note, the fourth string, with your thumb on your picking hand. Now pluck your A note with your first finger of the G string with your picking hand. Pluck the fretted D note with your middle finger, the B string, with your picking hand. Pluck the high G note, the third fret, on the first string with your ring finger. Now pull off the G note, the third fret, to the F sharp, which is the second fret, fretting the F sharp with your middle finger on your fretting hand. Now pull off your middle finger to the open high E string. 
Now pluck the fretted D note, the third fret, the second string, with your middle finger of your picking hand. Pluck the A note, the third string, second fret, with your first finger of your picking hand. Now pluck the open D string, the fourth string, with your thumb on your picking hand. Now for the hammer-on. Hit the open G string, which is the third string, with your first finger on your picking hand. While the G note is ringing, you want to hammer on your first finger to the second fret, which is the A note, on the G string. Now pluck the open B string, the second string, with your middle finger of your picking hand. And for the last note of the first half of the verse, pluck the open G string with your first finger of your picking hand. Our first chord, our G chord, starts with the low G note on the low E string, using your middle finger. Plucking with your thumb or your thumb pick. Now pluck the open G string, the third string, with your index finger from your picking hand. Then pluck the open B string, the second string, with your middle finger on your picking hand. Switching to a new chord now, the D slash F sharp, we'll be plucking two notes at once. Let's start with our first finger of our fretting hand and place it on the low F sharp, which is the second fret of the low E string. Also place your middle finger on your fretting hand on the A note on the second fret, which is the G string. Now pluck both the F sharp with your thumb on your picking hand and the A note using your first finger on your picking hand at the same time. Now place your third finger of your fretting hand on the third fret of the B string. Now pluck with your middle finger on your picking hand. The last note for this chord is an open G note played with your first finger from your picking hand. Our next chord is the E minor. Place your middle finger on your fretting hand on the E note, which is the second fret on the D string. Now pluck the open E string with your thumb on your picking hand. Then pluck the E note, which is from the D string, with your first finger on your plucking hand. Using your middle finger on your plucking hand, hit the open G string. For the last note of the chord, pluck the E note again with your first finger on your plucking hand. Our fourth chord is the D chord, played a little bit differently. We also will be plucking two notes at once again. Put your fourth finger, your pinky finger, on your fretting hand on the D note on the A string, which is the fifth fret. Now put your third finger on your fretting hand on the F sharp note, which is the fourth fret on the D string. Now pluck both the D and the F sharp notes at the same time, using your thumb on the D note and using your first finger on the F sharp. Pluck the open B string with your ring finger of your picking hand. Then hit the F sharp note with your first finger of your picking hand. Now in the chord with picking the open G string with your middle finger of your picking hand. Our next chord is the C. Place your third finger of your fretting hand on the C note, which is the third fret of the A string. Now put your middle finger of your fretting hand on the E note, which is the second fret of the D string. Now pluck the C note with your thumb on your plucking hand, followed by the E note with your first finger on your plucking hand. Now pluck the open G note with your middle finger on your plucking hand. And for the last note, we pluck the E note again with our first finger on our plucking hand. Let's move to the D chord. Put your fourth finger, your pinky, on your fretting hand on the D note on the A string, which is the fifth fret. Now put your third finger of your fretting hand on the F sharp note, which is the fourth fret on the D string. Now pluck both the D and the F sharp at the same time your thumb on the picking hand for the D note, and the index finger on the picking hand for the F sharp note. For the last chord, we end up with the G again. 
Let's start with our second finger of our fretting hand on the low G note, the third fret of the low E string, which is the sixth string. Now pluck the low G note with your thumb on your picking hand. Hit the open D note, the fourth string, with your index finger of your picking hand. Then hit the open G, the third string, with your middle finger of your picking hand. Now pluck the open D note again with your index finger. Now to end this part of the tutorial, let's strum the G chord starting from the low G, muting the A string with your fretted second finger and strumming all the way down to the open B. For the other verses, check the tabs for the slight differences. Thank you for watching and don't forget the intro tutorial for me and you.